Um, my name's John Colm, I'm CEO of Team Results USA, and we're here with Professor Ron Stevens. Uh, Ron is one of the senior people in the Brain Research Institute at UCLA, the University of California, Los Angeles. He's also the CEO of The Learning Chameleon, a company which focuses on the use of technology to aid and assist learning in modern and innovative ways. Ron, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, thank you very much for the invite here and for uh, all of the willing participants uh, in this training ex exercise. It's good. Now, Ron, I guess what you're referring to is that we just finished an experiment uh, jointly with Team Results uh, using a lot of your ideas on phase state transitions in the brain, things that people's brains do when they're asked to work in teams and do team tasks together. Mm -hmm. Give us some understanding of why you think that's important, if you wouldn't mind, and why you think that's something that's worth studying in a field that needs adding to. Well, I, I think most people who work with teams, whether it's sports teams, business teams, military teams, realize that there's there's a sweet spot to teamwork. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, a place where the organization is, is such that they're not too organized, that they lose all flexibility, but yet they're not so random that they go all over the place. And finding that sweet spot and being able to predict that sweet spot, uh, I think is just uh, critical in, in all teamwork activities, which are basically the foundation of most work uh, today. So what's, what's the neurodynamic equivalent of a team sweet spot? And you have some experience in this working with teams that do some very mission critical stuff. And here I'm thinking uh, specifically of people that drive submarines. You've done some work on this with the Navy, haven't you? Uh, yes, yeah, since uh, 2009, uh, we've actually been working with the Submarine Learning Center, and uh, it's, it's really real-world types of simulations and exercises that they do, and it's also required training. And so it's a situation where they get totally immersed in what they're doing, and, uh, but it's also challenging because we don't have audio, we can't collect video, and, and so it's, uh, it takes a lot of skill and inference to uh, develop some, some robust models there. Uh, I think the big challenge now is to take this to a corporate uh, environment. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're looking for very innovative partners. And that, that, that's a very nice segue and it brings us to, to why we're here today. Exactly. Uh, because about uh, 10 minutes ago we finished uh, some research that we're doing together. Uh, team Results is a company that focuses on pro measurable productivity improvement in work teams and we do that in, in ways that are 21st century and, and non-linear. Not team building, not consulting, not classroom training, not just getting together and having fun. Something that's different from that yet again. And we've just finished a task together that we designed together. So tell us a little bit more, obviously you mentioned the corporate uh, bit, but tell us a little bit more of why uh, you thought it would be a good idea to partner with Team Results and where you're hoping this all might go as a leading academic in the field. Well, right now we have a, a project sponsored by the National Science Foundation where we're looking at um, kind of what makes an entrepreneurial teams click. And we've worked with students in business classes, we've worked with regular undergraduate students, we've worked with established business teams who are coming back for continued uh, professional education right. with a group in Spain. And, and very often these end up being case discussions. And okay. from the nonlinear models that we're developing, we're finding out that um, Teams don't even begin to approach uh, neurodynamic synchrony in these environments. Okay. Uh, there's not necessarily intellectual or mental buy-in by the members of the team. It's almost like from looking at the neural signatures, you're thinking, well, we have to do this. We don't really have to say anything controversial. We don't really have to put our heart into it yeah. because it's going to be over in an hour. Right. Uh, and what we're more interested in is much more dynamic simulations where uh, people get emotionally involved because that's a big part of teamwork is, is the emotional component as well. And uh, you know, I think what we saw today, uh, there were many examples of uh, highs and lows and uh, backwards and forwards uh, that, that actually uh, mimic a lot, I think, of, of what we're looking at and what we think runs the, you know, the the chaotic nature of teams. And the hope, of course, is that we can 
we can use real science to explore team dynamics, push the boundaries, find out what real teams really do, and maybe improve some of the classic theories like forming, storming, norming, performing, and make them uh, even better and more predictive of, yeah. of the real world. So the last question I wanted to ask you is, is based on your own experience, do you think that there is room uh, out there in the corporate and government world to raise the game, to do things that are better provenance with better science, a lot less charlatanism, a lot more stuff that measurably works. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I, I think it is. I think it's it's been slow coming. Right. Uh, I think now the, the technology is there. Uh, right. It's not simple, but it's there. And I think uh, we need we need more examples to actually start to get broad-based intellectual buy-in right. uh, for people to abandon not really abandon but to modify their their way of thinking about how teams should think because uh, it's the death of industrial revolution thinking, isn't it, and the rise of, of modern uh, non-linear thinking in yeah. organisations, particularly driven by globalisation technology. Yeah, much more communication competition, that kind of thing. Teams, virtual teams, how do you actually begin to optimize these so that teams not only find their groove, but they, they stay in the groove longer? Absolutely. Well, Ron, it's just been an absolute uh, pleasure working with you today, and thank you very much. You're watching the Team Results channel. If you're interested, we have a number of other things on the Team Results channel on YouTube. But for now, have a lovely day, all of you. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you.